let's say that we want to work with a function f of x equals, let's do um, 2x minus 1. And we want to be able to evaluate the function um, maybe at x equals 3. Well, there's several different ways that we can do this. There's actually three different representations to the um, function. And Desmos can show us all three really easily. I'm going to go ahead and type in the function into an empty cell just as I see it. So notice right away, it gives me the function, it gives me the line, and I can pretty easily get the table as well. I still have my cursor here in the cell where my function is. I'm going to click on the edit list feature, and it gives me a table icon. I'm going to go ahead and click on convert to table. Now I've got all three representations. I have the function itself, I've got the table, and I also have the line. I can look at each of these points and I can see how each of these points are represented in the table and on the line as dots. I can go ahead and add another point. I'm going to go ahead and just type over one of these. Um, let's say we want to know what's happening at 1 4. So I'll do 1 and then slash and then 4. And it tells me that that's at negative 0.5. And it gave me a brand new point for that one. So those are our three representations. Let's go ahead and go back to our evaluation problem. So I wanted to evaluate this guy at x equals 3. Well, now I've got a couple ways that I can do that. I can put in 3 into my table, just type it right in, and it tells me that that's 5. So my output, my y value is a 5, which is that guy right there. Because I've got it defined, I can also just ask Desmos for f of 3. And it returns the answer 5. So many things that you can do with Desmos.